start us off with an opening statement, excitement of last night starting the season? Well, I don't, I don't know if it was a perfect storm or not, but obviously the, the weather, the opponent, uh, it was a great crowd. And again, it was appreciative uh, to see all those people that came out to, to support us. Uh, it was a great environment. It was electric. Uh, it was a close game. And then, the, you know, Cam Sheeler to walk it off was, was awesome. So very exciting about th this season, what, what our team brings. Uh, and again, I think what last night was is a, kind of a snapshot of what we're going to have this season. You uh, knew you were going to have a young pitching staff coming into this year. Through six games, what's the, the impression been so far? It's interesting because, you know, we go in the, through the fall and uh, our guys pitched really well. We had a couple, uh, you know, we played some other games. Uh, they're, they're going through some growing pains. Uh, again, we didn't see it this fall. A lot of times the fall ball, you get, it's almost like spring football. You get, work some of the kinks out. Uh, but it's it's been uh, been a little bit of a rough go. I, I, I do think we have a really good pitching staff, and it's going to show. Uh, that's why playing these these games this weekend and just getting out there, getting experience is going to help us. I do like our pitchers. Again, we lost 170 innings from last year, uh, but we have a good pitching staff. We're just going through some growing pains, unfortunately. I have to be impressed with the offense though so far. You knew that was. Yeah, they were going to probably have to carry the load, and they're, they're well. You know, it, it is, and again, I think offensively, uh, again, you don't want to rely on that all the time, uh, just because of, you know, again, you face a really good pitcher, and they could shut your offense down. Even though I think our offense is a little bit more dynamic than it has been in years past. Before, again, we're kind of the three-run homer, whereas this year, again, we can play a little small ball. We can do some hitting and running. Uh, we got some speed on the bases where we can steal some bases. So we're not one-dimensional. Uh, but again, I do like our offense. We, we have some, some older guys, you know, Paul Comastack, uh, Griffin Merritt, uh, Ryan Nicholson, you know, that are, are again, really the, the backbone of our offense. And I feel really good about where we are offensively. Um, just, just need to keep, uh, keep plugging away with that. You caught a lot of people's attention a couple of years ago that you guys go to the tournament, have success last season. Obviously, yeah. it was kind of a weird year for a lot of reasons. How have you seen the program just progress over these past couple? I think our guys believe a lot more. Yeah, again, there, there's a, you know, obviously winning's contagious. And I think in, in the baseball program, we've, we've, you know, again, done some, some winning. I think, but just same thing as just watching football, watching basketball, there's a, there's a lot of winning going on here at UC. And I think it's contagious. And our guys are, are buying into what we're doing. So I think we've made a big jump from even 2019. I think we're a better ball club than we were 2019. And I'm not taking anything away from that because that was a really good club. Uh, but again, I just think we're, we're a little bit deeper. We have a little bit more depth, not only position player wise, but pitching wise. It hasn't really shown yet. Uh, it's still early. You know, we're, we're still really, uh, you know, again, last weekend getting rained out, three games hurts. But uh, again, I, I really feel good about uh, what, what our, our program's going uh, and the growth of it. Take us through last night making a game like that happen. You, you mentioned the three games getting washed out in Alabama. So we're driving back on the bus, and obviously there's some frustration. We're calling any local teams. Uh, we reached out to a lot of different different schools. One you're looking at, do they have any midweek games? You're looking at, did they lose any games? Ohio State came up. We, we reached out to Greg Beals. Obviously, we know him fairly, uh, really well, uh, the head coach. And again, we were real, willing to go up to Ohio State. They, they said, hey, we'd like to come down. We play them later on this, this spring. I said, hey, why don't you come on down? You know. Fridays, tomorrow's supposed to be our home opener. Uh, it was great that our facilities, they were able to make it work. Uh, we were able to get out there and, and play. So uh, it's kind of, it's a little bit different than like a basketball, football. Baseball, you have to be able to, to adapt a little bit more. You know, weather's a, a big factor. Uh, so you get some, some games rained out that uh, all of a sudden, hey man, you might be playing on a Monday or, or a Thursday. You know, we're still trying to pick up some games during our spring break to just to try to get our 56 games in. How did the guys react to 2,500 people being there? They loved it. You know, again, and they were they were excited to play. You know, again, our guys. You know, when you go through the fall and, and you're working and, you, and you're grinding with practice, they want to play, and that's the fun part. Like this is the fun part of the season uh, because you're playing. You know, and again, even like today, our practices we're going to go out there, stretch, throw, do some uh, bunt defenses, then we're going to take BP. It's not the the double fungos, it's not the taking mass ground balls, it's not running cutoffs and relays, we're just playing. And so, like this, they, they were, obviously you, you want to play in front of people, and, and again, that was a great crowd to see last night. Um, and hoping that, again, with the weather being great this weekend, playing another a good opponent, Northwestern, another Big Ten school, that, uh, you know, we, we have good crowds this weekend.
with what's going on with the majors and the uncertainty there, there's maybe a window to grab some extra fans and to put some extra butts in the seats to, to fill that baseball void. Do you and your guys feel that at all? There is, and again, I think that's a kind of a short term. Uh, again, sure. I know exactly what you're saying, short term. I guess we want to reap the benefits. I think long term it could, could hurt baseball in general. Again, you don't want to see the MLB, you know, strike or, or you know, have the lockout. You don't want to see that. Uh, but to your point, yeah, I think that it could be a, a benefit to us uh, right now. Um, and, and selfishly, I don't want to see that happen, you know, just on, on the grand scheme of things, because baseball is a great game and you don't want to turn people, uh, uh, you know, because of what's going on in Major League Baseball that also now they don't like baseball. For people that might want to come out this weekend, a little preview of Northwestern, maybe. Yeah, you know Northwestern's a, a very solid team. Uh, they're they're known for their pitching. They've got a really good pitching staff. They they do play a little bit more small ball. Uh, they they have a couple guys that have some some pop in their bats, but they, they try to manufacture runs by you know whether it's playing the small ball hit and run type type deal. But they're they're pitching. They have a good pitching staff. They've got a younger pitching staff this year, but they they've got a a, a good pitching staff. The the walk off last night. With a pinch hit homer, yep. is that some of like the depth and dynamic offense you're talking about that you can pull yeah, out of? Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and Cam Shields is going to play for us. He's he's uh, you know, again, we just haven't haven't get not have an opportunity to get him in, but he's going to play quite a bit for us this year, and and that's a situation where again that we feel very comfortable. We we had about three or four guys that we wanted to get in last night that didn't get opportunities, but that was a great opportunity for Cam to get in there, and, and he produced. And he told you, Coach, play me. Yeah, yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Well, again, we're, we're trying to, to keep the local local talent here. And uh, I think that when you see the, the crowd that we had, you see the electricity and obviously a big win, I think it, it bodes well for, for the program. I really do, to, to keep keep the guys excited because I think there were a lot of, a lot of local uh, high school kids that, that were at the game last night as well. So I, I think it goes really well for, for what we're trying to do here and what we're trying to build. Um, and I know that the conference, you know, that, that's a couple years away. We're still just trying to, trying to win the American right now, to be honest with you. We're trying to, to be the best that we can be uh, with what, what, what we have right now. Cool. Any other questions for Coach? You go with Zach. Yeah, I got one over here. Yeah. Uh, so when you pinch hit Cam last night, you said you felt it was a good time to put him in the game, but Cam hasn't had a at bat all year. So in that situation, what made you feel it was the right decision to put him in? He's been, he's been having a lot in, in BP and in inner squads, he's been hitting the ball really well. You know, here right now, uh, Joey Powell's our, our starting catcher, um, and, and JP sponsor has been our DH. So it's been tough to, to get him in there because we haven't played a lot of games to, to get him in. He'll, he'll catch a couple games this weekend because, again, we don't want to wear Joey out uh, <coughs> catching-wise. Uh, JP's been swinging the bat really well, so I don't want to take JP out of the lineup. So, uh, But he's been taking a really good BP, uh, and he's been hitting well during our, our inner squads. But it's interesting if, if – uh, Cam Gidry would have gotten on, I would have probably pinched hit uh, uh, Josh Hageman in there to bunt him over. So it was a situation where, where Gidry got out. It was, a, you know, hey, man, let, let's go for a, a double, not looking to, you know, walk it off that way, but looking for more of an extra base hit, and, and Cam delivered. Coach, then it'll be a double header this weekend, correct? Yeah, yeah it's going to be a, a double header on Friday at 1 o'clock and a double header on Saturday starting at 1. We were supposed to go 9 to 9. Uh, but again, with uh, with the way the weather looks like on Sunday, we're going to play a doubleheader tomorrow and a doubleheader on on uh, Saturday. Because again, we need to get the games in. We need to play. Ideal, it's not ideal, but we want to play. Cool. You going to be over at spring football before the game? I'm going to try to. I I'm gonna, I, 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 I saw Fick earlier, and I try to swing by and see what they got going on. That's exciting. All right. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thank you.